Testing, testing, one, two. Testing, they can't hear us. We want folks to be able to hear us out in the uh, festival to join us for our culinary demonstration. We are here joined by Chef William Yi. Let me tell you about our chef. He's the executive director of CCA CLA, which stands for Chef de Cuisine Association of California, Los Angeles. Amazing. He's the president of the La Caron Blue Alumni Association. He's the artistic director of the Alhambra Performing Arts Center. He's the producer of A Taste of Music. He's the owner of the Alhambra, this is my favorite because I'm the president of the Chamber of Commerce. He's the owner of the Alhambra Culinary School and LA Omelets Catering Service. And he's the chef ambassador, New Chef Fashion Inc. He's an advisory board to like everything in town. He is one of our favorite community members here in Alhambra. We are so lucky to have him here. He is Alhambra's celebrity chef, Bill Yee, everybody. Round of applause for Woo! Chef Lee. So, chef, chef Lee, Happy New Year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tell us what we're going to see you do today. We are going to attempt to make five-star hotel omelets without burning the pans. All right. And uh, we're going to try to tell a couple of pirate jokes, just in case you're bored with the cooking. Is that OK? Yes. All right. Any other questions? Well, no, I want to see. Tell us what you're going to do. Okay. First, a little introduction. The uh, How many of you have made an omelet before? Everybody, right? Okay. It's not that hard. We have a certain style called the five-star hotel style omelet because we have to do more than one at a time. Right now, we're working on induction burners. If you notice, I can put my hand right on the induction burner, and it really isn't that hot enough to burn me, but it can't cook the food up to 350 to 450 degrees. So we're very happy with uh, Southern California Edison for providing the induction burners. We also, because it's an induction, we need special pans that have a steel bottom. If it's aluminum, it won't work because these work kind of like a magnetic thing, okay? So what we have here is a bunch of ingredients. So should I tell you my first pirate joke? Yes! Okay, how much do pirates pay to have their ears pierced? A buccaneer. <laughs> All right, back to the cooking. So at the hotels, and the hotels I worked at for several years includes the old Langham Hotel in Pasadena, which used to be the Ritz-Carlton. Right now I'm one of the chefs at the Shady Canyon Golf Club in Irvine on Sundays. Um, I also am the president of my own uh, culinary school. And I don't teach people really how to cook. I try to show them how to become a chef. Does anybody know the difference between a cook and a chef? Anybody? Okay. Primarily a chef is in charge, right? You're supposed to know what to do in terms of cook-wise. We need someone in charge of the kitchen. Well, all these restaurants here have a chef. I also belong to a national association called the American Culinary Federation, ACF. And we're the, exe we're the association in the United States that also sets the standards for American dining. And have you ever heard the term certified executive chef, certified sous chef, certified master chef? We're the association that does the certifications for the chefs, okay? All right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to try to make some omelets. Unfortunately, I don't have enough to feed everybody, but I might give you guys a little bit of a taste. Is that okay? All right, are you ready for pirate job number two? Where does Captain Cook, where does Captain Cook get his hooks from? The second-hand store. That one, okay. So when I'm doing omelets, it takes only about three and a half minutes, approximately. The eggs are about two and a half large eggs. My assistant, Sean, big hand for Sean. Okay. You can use both hands next time. Anyway, so we have some scrambled eggs here. And what I normally do, I ask the guests what they would like in their omelets. You've been to that before with a restaurant. However, normally I'm an action station omelet chef. That means the guests are standing in front of me a lot of guests, right? Now how do I remember who's going to go in this pan, and this pan, and this pan? It's not easy. So my little technique is I tell the guests that you're number one, you're number two, you're number three. That way they remember, I remember, and then we can start cooking, okay? Um, does anybody watch Netflix? Okay. I was the, I was the Netflix omelet chef for two years in Hollywood. Okay, that's pretty cool. And that's an account that's run by Wolfgang Puck. You've heard of Wolfgang Puck. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do here, when I, in the few minutes remaining, I'm going to put some stuff in. 
So let's assume we got uh, some mushrooms, some tomatoes, some bacon. Anybody like bacon? Okay. Bell peppers, little onions. And number three, we'll call it one, two, three, will be the same. Putting a little bacon in, a little stuffed peppers, a little onions. Anybody like spinach? Yeah. All right. A little spinach. All right. Now, I tell my chefs, normally for me, I only put the oil in after I put in the ingredients, because then I know how much oil to put in. In this case, I'm using organic extra virgin olive oil. Some people use butter, some people use canola oil, that's fine. So I'm going to put a little bit in. Also, we're doing multiple pans, and sometimes I have up to seven pans at once, right? So I don't have time to really do a lot of what they call sauteing. I am going to use a silicone spatula up to 450 degrees. I might do one or two tosses like this. And also I like my vegetables to be al dente. Does anybody want to know what al dente means? It's like spaghetti, right? A little bit stiffer. Okay, see, I don't like to overcook my veggies. Then I'm going to drop some eggs in. Again, roughly two and a half large eggs for an average omelet. Now I'm going to ask the guests, would you like any salt and pepper? Yes, anybody? Salt and pepper? Okay, so I'm going to drop some salt. In this case, I'm using sea salt. Does anybody know what sea salt is? I thought it was ABC. Is there a D salt or E salt? A little bit of ground pepper. Does anybody know what an omelet is that only uses pepper? What kind of omelet do you call it? Only using pepper? I think it's Italian because it's got pepper only. That one. Now, I'm going to take my spatula. I'm going to lift and tilt so that the eggs slide under. Okay? I'm trying to keep the temperature at medium to medium low. And try to get the eggs like this. Because in a, about a minute, I'm going to be doing the attempted flip in the time you need it, okay? Now, I didn't have time to season these pans, otherwise it would probably be a little bit slippier. So I'm going to add a little bit more oil, just to make sure that I can flip the eggs. Should we talk about the cow jokes now? You want to hear a cow joke? What do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef, right. All right, are you ready for the attempted flip? All right. Everybody count, one, two, three, ready? One, two, three. Ho! Again. One, two, three. Ho! One more time. One, two, three. Ho! Oh, magic. So I'm going to turn the fire down to almost nothing because it's pretty much done now. I'm going to drop in the cheese and I'm going to flip it one more time. Then I'm going to take the cheese. In this case, it's a mixed Mexican style cheese. Drop some in here, drop some in here. Sean's going to give me a plate right now. Plate, Sean. I got it. Now, I tell the students, you take a round plate, usually, follow the thumb, and you're gonna make a clamshell. It's not that hard, right? Follow that, you do a little bit like this, Okay, voila, it's your basic omelet, okay? Sean's gonna cut this up into about six pieces and try to share it with the crowd. One more time, Okay, voila. Now, normally I don't ground my omelets a little bit difficult out here not to do so. Unless the guest or the person wants it well done. Here's another one, Sean. And he's gonna put a little bit of a Hawaiian bread. One more time, okay. Okay, 
So that is the hotel style omelet for you guys. So we're going to pass out some samples now. I'll make some more over here. Yes. Do you want to hear another joke? What do you call a priest that becomes an attorney? What do you call a priest that becomes an attorney? A father-in-law. You like that one, huh? Why does a chicken coop only have two doors? Why does a chicken coop only have two doors? Well, if it had four doors, it would be a chicken sedan. And that's why I have my own TV show. The show is called A Taste of Music, because I also run the Alhambra Performing Arts Center, which is down on Hellman. It's part of that little church, Granada Park, Sage Granada Park United Methodist Church. Last night we did the Beatle concert. How many of you came to my concert last night? Big hands for the, oh, look at this, I got a crowd of Beatle lovers. Next month on February 25, we're gonna be doing a classical program Chopin and Gershwin. How many of you like salsa music? How about flamenco? Anybody like flamenco? Well, in March, we're doing a big flamenco concert. And if you like uh, rock concerts, we're doing Chicago in April. Okay. All right, you ready for another joke? What do you call a small mother? What do you call a small mother? A minimum. How did the small mother say goodbye? With a microwave. My wife's not laughing. She turned her off. All right, we got some samples coming out to the crowd. Alright, this is the last batch and then I'm out of here. We got another fantastic chef coming. I have another chef acquaintance. She'll be coming at 3.30 to make Vietnamese pho if you want to come back. Alright, are you ready for another one? Knock, knock. Who's there? Tank. You're welcome. <laughs> Okay, last omelets are coming out. Did everybody get a taste of the omelet? Is it okay? Yeah. Right. I did my job. We have one more batch coming out for the for the staff. Finish it off. Nobody else is eating. One more coming out for the staff, and then we're cleaning up. Sean, can you organize us to get out of here? Yeah, we're just going to cut this up. Any questions about how to make these style omelets? Any questions? Everybody looks shell-shocked. That's an egg joke. I use um, medium to medium low. What do you call two naked chickens? What do you call two naked chickens? Eggs, rated. So you have to keep the guests occupied in case you drop an omelet on the floor. But then you do this and it's still stuck on the ceiling. All right, these are now ready. I'm gonna drop in some cheese, and then we'll be moving on. I've done this a couple times. First time I made omelets was at a little festival called Coachella. And they said, 
Chef, this is our big, one of our biggest festivals. And I said, I've been to the biggest festival. The biggest festival I've been to is called Woodstock. I'm a pretty old guy. All right, I'm done here. I see everybody wants to move on to the next chef. Thank you for joining us today, and thank you for enjoying a five-star hotel to Ahmed's. I am standing up. So, chef, chef, yes, sir, chef. You cooked all over the world, right? A little bit. A little bit. You cooked the finest places in LA. Some of the not so finest. And some of the not so finest. Places. <laughs> Tell us what makes cooking in front of the community so important. Well, cooking is important because number one, everyone's got to eat. Yes. Two, it's kind of nice to see how it's being done because most of the time you're in a restaurant and the cook is behind whatever is doing his thing. You never see the third omelet on the floor. <laughs> But basically, if you, if you can enjoy food and music, would I do that? And the connection between us and my corny jokes, it's not too bad, right? Okay. And if the food kind of comes out okay and it tastes good, then you have another remembrance. Because it's, it's, it's the connection. Food, people, music, okay? Thank you. How many of you are going to go home tonight, tomorrow morning, wake up and make an omelet just like Chef Lee? Let's give a big round of applause to Chef Lee. We are so lucky to have him here with us today. So lucky to have him as part of our Alhambra community. How, how many of you are from Alhambra? How many, Alhambra? Awesome, awesome. So glad to have you here. How many San Gabriel Valley folks? General, all of you, thank you. Thank you for being here. We've got a full program of culinary demonstrations today. At 12.30, we're gonna be at the main stage where we're having a special presentation. I hope you'll stay around and join us. Visit our booth, visit our vendors, and also frequent the businesses here on Main Street as well. We thank you for joining us today. Another round of applause for Chef Lee. Yeah.